Hey everyone, uh, it's Steel from the forums. I um, just want to show you uh, my fluorescent light that I made. Um, it's pretty bright. You can't see it. Uh, basically, it's a 13 watt bulb. Uh, I modified uh, the the CFL by uh, basically eliminating, uh, you know, the end portion of the bulb. I opened it up and basically I wired just two a positive and a negative lead to the capacitors within the the light. Sealed it back up and. Uh, I used, uh, how can I explain it, a light bulb holder, I wish I could explain it to you, but basically, here it goes, this thing here, so if you look at that, it's one of these, this has got tape on it, but you use one of these to drill the hole through the middle, and I ran my two wires out the back of the bulb, for my positive and negative to the battery, and I used just a, like a cup, to basically uh, be like a reflector, and I spray painted it with like a silver color, or like a chrome. I'll show you with the light. But this is how bright it is, which isn't too bad. Go far I'm standing. It draws pretty much nothing. And this is on only 72 volts, so it's not even full, like, I can pump out probably 100 and it should be fine. And yeah, it's not bad for, uh, you know what I mean? Virtually free. I just stole it out of a lamp in my house and I just put it on a Modded it a bit and it's good. So I'll show you what I did To mount it Have mounted it yet, but So you can see how I Just ran the wires at the back. I'm gonna just mount it by this little thing right here. It's perfect. There you go. So I mean, this is only a 13 watt, but and it's a, it's not even a pure white, it's just like an amber one. But I can do a pure white one, just like I'm using the basement. I'm using two of them in that thing. But it's, um, they're much more powerful. They're, they're bigger bulbs. I think they're like 30 or 45 watts each. So they're very bright for the basement, but imagine one of those in here would be crazy, but I think this is adequate for what I need and it pretty much draws 10 watts is what I checked on it at, I think about 72 volts, which is nothing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.